Seriously guys, if you do this while drop shipping AliExpress products, you might get sued. What's going on guys, I'm Braden Wurch. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you hit subscribe. I continue to over deliver insane value to you guys every day to grow you personally and financially as well. All right, so today I've got a very serious topic. If you're drop shipping um, on AliExpress, there is a pretty high chance you'll get sued if you do a couple things. And, and a few of these things, you might not even know you're doing this wrong. And the thing is, I know guys in person that have been sued up to $20,000 because they did some of these mistakes. So I'm actually gonna cover three things that you guys need to make sure you don't do so you don't get sued um, while drop shipping. So the first thing, let's talk about AliExpress. So um, most AliExpress images, um, you know, the suppliers are okay with if you use them. Uh, you know, typically they want you to use them because that means you're going to be drop shipping their products. You're going to be buying from them. They want you to use their images. Um, every once in a while, you'll have a supplier that might cause a fuss. Now, when this happens, 95% of the time, they're not going to go ahead and come after you or anything like that. You just want to make sure beforehand that you do have permission from the supplier. Like I said, 99% of the time, you're okay um, using their images. Now, the flip side is many of those images that these suppliers have aren't actually theirs originally. So um, I'll use sunglasses, for example, like I do in many videos. Um, you'll see like Instagram models wearing the sunglasses. Typically, those aren't the actual Chinese suppliers' images. Those are actually images they got from either another brand or from an Instagram model, and they did it without permission. Um, so this is something you need to be super careful about. I was actually on a call um, with someone I'm mentoring just a couple weeks ago. They had a, a winning product. It was going amazing. And um, they got a, a letter essentially that said, uh, it was a cease and desist letter. They had to either stop selling the product and stop using the images um, or they were gonna get sued. And so we both did due diligence on it, checked into it, and sure enough, it was a copyrighted image that he didn't have permission to use. And so he immediately removed the product, but now he's having to go around and search for another winning product. And it's just very, very frustrating. So definitely make sure if there's any image that's in question, you wanna go ahead and double check it first. Um, so now we get to videos. If, if your supplier has a video, um, a lot of times that's actually not okay to use. You definitely wanna message the supplier beforehand before using any videos. And if you copy any videos, um, you run another risk, not only from potential lawsuit, but you also run a risk of Facebook automatically deleting your ad account. Um, it started at the beginning of this year in 2018 that Facebook's doing a full cleanse, essentially with drop shippers, but um, pretty much anybody in e-commerce using images and videos that they don't have permission for. And right now, um, the ones biggest at risk is um, people using videos. So if you're using a video, you need to make sure that you have permission to use that, and that is not another brand's, another person's that um, essentially you don't have permission to because Facebook just overnight will delete your ad account and you're dead in the water at that point. So you definitely need to make sure that you have permission to use the video. So um, the next thing I wanna talk about is trademarked items because I get this question all the time on, you know, can I drop ship Harry Potter or Superman or different Marvel characters like shirts and stuff like that. Um, in the beginning, this is something I really had to look into, um, but after actually hearing about several people um, getting cease and desist letters and potential lawsuits and all of that, you definitely can't drop ship trademarked items. The, the, the Chinese suppliers don't have rights to it, um, and they're technically doing it um, illegally, but they're in China, so they're, you know, they're kinda in their own little space. But here in the United States, um, in Canada, and I know UK, you need to check you know, with your country on what, what the copyright laws and trademark laws and all of that are, but um, here in the United States, you cannot drop ship those trademarked items. Um, it, unless you have actual permission from Marvel, Disney, those you will get in trouble for that. And Shopify, typically before that even happens, Shopify will go ahead and shut you down before you even get to the point of getting a cease and desist letter. So you need to be very, very careful um, with trademarked items, and I've seen this happen with super small stores. So um, with everything I'm telling you today, it doesn't matter if you're, you know, you've been selling thousands and thousands worth of products, or if you're just starting, you're at risk. Um, 
And so the next thing I'm going to talk about, and this is the biggest one, the one I see happen all the time, and I know someone personally that's been sued up to $20,000 because of this. Luckily, he was making a lot, so he was actually able to afford it, um, and he took it to court, and, and it was a long story, but um, the lawsuit was for $20,000, and that's using Google Images. That's using an image on your store, on your social media, whatever, that you don't have permission for. Now, where this gets very dangerous is that um, there are people that literally put images on Google Images, and then they have teams that go search the web for people using those images just so they can sue them and make money. It's actually a business model of some really, really um, crappy people, essentially, that their business model is to go sue people. And it, 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 you can look it up, Google it. It's, it's a legitimate business model that people are actually using that they'll put up images, really attractive images that people wanna use on their sites and then they go search the web for those pictures. As soon as they find them, lawsuit. Um, and this is one that's hard to get out of. So if you wanna use a Google image, what you need to do is go into settings. You wanna search the free to use, commercial use, um, you want to make sure that you have rights to use that image. Now, what I like to do to not even run the risk, and so I can find a whole plethora of high-quality images, I use StockSnap.io. It's a great website, and Pexels.com. Both of those are amazing for finding very, very high-quality, royalty-free images, and you'll basically be in the clear if you use those. So the whole point with this video today, guys, is you need to be careful. This is a, you are in an actual business setting, so you're putting yourself out there. So if you don't do the right things, and, and even if you're small, you're just starting up, you still run the risk. Like I said, there's people that literally it's their job to go search the web to find people using their images. So you need to be very careful with everything you do in business uh, to avoid being sued. Um, but definitely follow these tips and you'll be fine. All right, guys, I hope you found insane value in this video. Um, I continue to push out insane value for you guys every day. Please leave me a like. Um, leave me a comment if you know if this has happened to anybody um, or if you've done any of this. And please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Keep grinding, y'all, and I'll see you in the next video.